going to bring in our top story panel to talk more about this. Niger Innes, a Republican strategist and spokesman for CORE, the Congress of Racial Equality, and Mark Green, founder of the New Democracy Project and author of Losing Our Democracy. Good to see you Good as see you well. Too. I wanted to start off by checking out a new CNN poll, which sure. shows uh, <laughs> how well Obama would do right off the bat in this head-to-head -head, uh, battle. Uh, I am sure, Mark, you're not surprised to see him right up there with Hillary Clinton giving her a, a bit of a, a shaking here. You have to be surprised. He's essentially tied with two people who ran for president, Al Gore in 2000 successfully, although not technically, <clears throat> and then John Edwards. It's phenomenal. That is a two-year senator who is uh, half the polling data of Hillary Clinton. She is a bona fide strong front runner because sure. of her fame, money, record, and advisor. She has the best advisor in the galaxy who she lives with. That he would be that close, I think tells more about us than him. It's the idea of Obama that is so intriguing to Democrats who have been out of power and would like someone who is authentically a uniter and not a divider. In baseball, often you have a phenom rookie who goes six and zero, oh, and then in the summer you can see whether he really has what it takes. So Obama has really quickly gotten to the semifinals in a strong field. I mean, John Kerry's experience, John Edwards' experience, for example, and Hillary Clinton's leadership, that, that he's competitive with them is phenomenal. And I think he'll do well or not based on something we can't know in 06. In 08, will this man meet his moment? What's the big idea? And if the sure. big idea then is, after this extreme ideological zealot called Bush, who's quite faith-based, do Democrats first, and then America want a fact-based guy who is more mainstream than extreme and is more like a linear logical lawyer? who can bring people together rather than just attack countries which haven't attacked us. If we want somebody and who's, I, who's red and blue and, and black and white, uh, central casting is sent them. Don Lemon uh, was talking to us about the question he posed, is mm -hmm. America ready for an African-American president? We know though it's happened in other elections before. Poll after poll shows that they call it the Bradley effect. People say, yeah, we'll vote for a black candidate. And guess what? When it comes time to pull the lever, they don't. Although I think is America ready? America absolutely is is ready for a black uh, candidate and black president uh, of the United States. I think the question is: Is America ready for a traditional liberal from Illinois representing the entire country? A lot of people compare Barack to John F. Kennedy, but Kennedy had that big moment when he ran for vice president in 1956 against Estes Kefauver and launched a credible challenge against Estes Kefauver. He lost it, but he gained a lot of support in all parts of regions of the country, including the South, which for a Catholic was amazing, and that was his moment. Well, I have to agree with Mark that, that Barack needs that big moment. America was ready for Colin Powell in 96. France is ready for a woman president. Germany has a woman president. America's ready. We'll see if he's the one.